and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create an abstract collage. You can use any photo for that. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to copy it. Let me rename it. I want to make sure I've got the copy selected in the layers menu right here. Now I go to filters, map and use fractal trace. The previous checked and it already gives me a good example. The fractal type can be changed and that has the biggest impact. So you've got two types, Manabrot and Julia. The abyss policy also has an impact. Let me change it to black and you can see that this is affected and the rest is then kept. We can change it to white, black or preserve the original with none. But the best results can be achieved with a loop. The depth is also interesting. The further you go up, the more details there will be. But keep in mind when you use a very large image or add too many details, it's going to take a lot of processing time. These values up here for X, Y and J, you shouldn't adjust them too much. If you go too high or too low, the results are basically unusable. They either make the results get rid of the effect entirely or they give you too many details. So keep it at a narrow range. Just check the default values and then play around with it. For example, this X1 had a minus one by default. So we can play around from let's say minus two or three to plus two or three and check the results. But if we go too high or too low, the results are basically unusable, at least for all the images that I've used this effect with. And it's the same for X1, X2, Y and the J values. Forget about the clipping and the blending modes for this effect. And confirm it via OK. And here was the original. And this is how you can create an abstract collage with any photo in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.